Now let's take a look at the opacity for transform repeater 1 and transform repeater 2. There are two options for opacity when it comes to transform repeater. You will see the start opacity and the end opacity. So for transform repeater 1, when you adjust the start opacity to 0, the stars or the shapes fade from left to right, leaving the ones to the right more visible or opaque. When you set the end opacity to zero, the shapes fade out from right to left, leaving the ones at the left more visible to the one that is on the right, meaning they are more opaque. It fades as if you are using a mask to fade it from left to right. So let's take a look at the opacity option on transform repeater 2. So when you drop the opacity for the start value, it fades from the top to the bottom. So when you drop the end opacity for the transform repeater 2, the shapes fade off from the bottom to the top. So this is pretty very easy and self-explanatory. The opacity property on the transform repeater 1 will fade from left to right or right to left and the opacity on transform repeater 2 will fade the shape from bottom to the top or the top to the bottom.